Hi all, it's Mike here. So in, in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to actually uh, flash Lineage OS 14.1 into the uh, Asus Nexus 7 13. This is one of the favorite tablets that I've been using so far. Um, it's not expensive, it's light, it's, uh, it feels good. It's some soft touch material at the back. And well, like what I said, it still feels pretty snappy up to today standards. I mean like it even feel much better than the Nexus 9, frankly, if you ask me. So this one of the of course it's not like a super high quality tablet, but it serves the duty and it still looks pretty good as of today as you take a look at it, right? So um so I I just just to share some experience about this tablet, I mean like I've done some changes to the tablet as I've I've done some mods. Well, yeah. I can't say mods. I've done something um, to fix some of the issues that I encounter on the tablet itself. Well, there's the speakers. I, I, I did encounter a problem with um, one side of the speakers is spoiled and stuff, then there's no sound coming out from it. So I actually opened up the tablet itself and changed the speakers itself. And it works. And it's not a very hard process. So if you guys need the video, you can tell me. I can try to do it for you guys. And of course, the second thing is the port not chargeable not charging kind of thing you know the charging port there are problems with charging it so i encounter a problem by plugging in the port and nothing happens and the tablet is not charging and the best thing about this is the solution for this i've, I've tried many things and it doesn't work and the best thing that i've tried that make this work is to as you can see the port here you just use your mouth and blow the port hard enough for one time and after that you plug back in the USB cable and everything works and you don't ask me why but um, if you do have the problem with that that is the last resort I tried initially I thought it was stupid but um, ultimately after I blow it out I don't know whether there's some dust or whatever it's over there when I plug in the USB cable a miracle happens it just charges so yeah you can try that out if you want to okay so let's just move on to the uh, process itself. So what you need to do now is to make sure that you have um, USB debugging enabled. So you just go to your about tablet, build number, you tap it seven times and you are now a developer. So what you can do now is you go to develop options, enable USB debugging and OK. I don't think you have OEM unlocking for this. Uh, for this version so we can leave it i think usb debugging is fine so when that is done yeah you can actually connect your uh, you can connect your tablet to the pc itself and you can see that usb debugging is connected right so once that is done yep we can move on to the pc for the rest of the setup okay before we start uh, the process then like what I said I'll make sure that you have Google USB driver installed so that the computer can detect your tablet so make sure you have minimal ADB and password installed so that you can use the ADB process and make sure all the custom ROM is downloaded uh, for example for this case it's Lineage OS so we will basically copy the stuff that we need into the tablet itself once we start the process so what you need to do now is to copy the the Nature OS as well as the GApps into your tablet itself. So when this process is done, we will move on to the next step. Okay, so once the copy is completed, we can move back to the uh, minimal side and do uh, ADB devices to ensure the device is connected. Then we'll start the daemon and stuff. And it's unauthorized. So when you see that message, Please move over to the tablet itself to authorize the connection. Okay, so normally when you see this message, uh, allow and USB debugging and stuff, you what you need to do is just to check on always allow and just press on OK so that the PC can connect to your tablet for the flashing process. Okay, so once you're done with that, we'll move back to the PC for the rest of the setup. Okay, once you have allowed USB debugging on your tablet, you can do ADB devices again to ensure the device is connected. As you can see now, the device is connected. So what you can do now is do ADB, reboot, boot, load. That will bring you bring your tablet into a fast boot mode. 
So once your tablet is in fast boot mode, you can flash the custom recovery. So once you flash the custom recovery itself, you can actually flash the custom ROM over. Okay, so once your tablet get rebooted into fast boot mode, so what you can do is do a fast boot devices to ensure the device is connected. When that is done, you uh, you have options now to choose either to boot the TWRP and install a custom ROM. That is majorly for testing out the ROM itself, whether you like it or not. Uh, if it's for a long-term basis, it would be better to do a uh, flash recovery permanently, right? So what you can do now is to do a fast boot flash recovery TWRP. And you just do this. So once it's done, your recovery is flashed. So what can you do now is you go to your tablet itself and you can actually boot into recovery and see how and, and complete the process from there. Okay, so once you have flashed the recovery itself, now in the tablet, you can actually use your volume rocker here, as you can see. You can move to recovery mode, and press on the power button. This will boot you into recovery. So once your recovery, you normally just put slight allow modification and you'll be back into this screen itself. So from here, what you can do, what you can do now is to do a wipe. So just do a, it's up to you what you want to do, advanced wipe. Normally I'll wipe everything except internal storage. But for this case itself, yes, the tablet itself is pretty empty. So I'll just go back and I'll do a swipe for factory reset. So once that is done, uh, I'll go back, go back, then uh, I'll do an install, and as you can see now, this is, um, I'll start with the lineage, and I add more zips, and I put jabs. So once that is done, you just do a swipe to confirm flash, <coughs> and it will, it will be, the process will start, and you just need to wait for the flashing to be completed. Okay, as you can see now, the tablet has uh, completed the process. We can actually pluck out the cable now. So they have completed the uh, process of uh, flashing. So you can do a white LB cache. Then once that is done, uh, what you can do is you can take a look at the uh, stuff. So what you can do is you can just reboot the system and just put do not install. And you will get rebooted. First time normally will take a while, so we just need to wait it out. Okay, so the um, lineage OS has been updated, so it has been booted up. So you can put the next um, United States, start as new. Um, so you need to connect to the Wi Fi, so just let's do it. So it's uh, connecting now. So now we'll wait for the checking updates and stuff. So we'll do a skip for now. If I need to use it, I'll just go back and do that. So just do next without the names and just uh, free up space. And um, this one I'll just turn it on first. If I need, then I'll turn it on later. And we'll just do next. Uh, all set. So I think some finishing touches. This one we can turn it off if you don't want all that stuff. So we can do a start. And this is the familiar face of the Nature OS. Um, I mean, this is a lightweight version. You only have the Play Store. That's the reason why I like to flash the Nature so that I, I can actually ignore all the other stuff. So what you can do here is to check on the tablet itself. It has the latest March 5th security patch. It's not the latest, but it's yeah. It's one of the latest one, and of course it's running on Nougat, as you can see. So, yeah, that's all I have for today, guys. Uh, I mean, that is how you... That is how you flash your... Texas 7 2013 tablet back uh, to Vintage OS ROM. And you can actually use this ROM as a daily diver as the, the nightly get updated pretty... Uh, every week, or maybe every two weeks. And it's pretty good, so... You can actually do that and it still function pretty well up to today um, and I, I, why I said I plan to use it for my 
the car itself as my navigation tool as well as my phone for me to play Spotify music and all this stuff, right? So um, <clears throat> that's all I have for today. So if you like the video that I'm doing, uh, do give it a give it a thumbs up and um, do subscribe to my channel for any future updates on any DIY project that I'll be doing. And um, I hope to see you again soon. Bye.